Hi, this unit is on transformations. In this unit, we're covering reflections, rotations, and translations. In this section, we are covering just reflections. In reflections, we deal with a pre-image, which is the picture before, that becomes an image. In reflections, we have a pre-image, which is the before picture, and an image, which is the after picture. The pre-image is generally named by such points as a triangle ABC. The image afterwards, after it's reflected, is named with corresponding points such as A prime, B prime, and C prime, or triangle DEF, something like that. With the reflections, you can see uh, triangle ABC has now become image triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. A corresponds to A prime, B corresponds to B prime, and C corresponds to C prime. Similarly, triangle pre-image ABC goes to image DEF, A corresponds to D, B corresponds to E, and C corresponds to F. Likewise, if we have another pre-image and image, A corresponds to M, B corresponds to N, and C corresponds to P. If you're not sure, just follow the alphabet, stay in order. Usually they just stay alphabetical and in order like that. So M and P is alphabetical order, just as A, B, C is alphabetical order. Okay, it gets a little harder here. We have reflections with the X and the Y axis. So you're going to need to look at the grid behind this one. Um, we have an X axis and a Y axis. We have two quadrilaterals. We have the pre-image in blue, that's the before, and the image in pink, that's the after. And you can see that they are labeled by A, B, C, and D, and A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. Okay. Uh, the pre-image has been reflected about the y-axis, so it's been flipped over the y-axis. You can see they're labeled x and y. And then we have the corresponding points. So A corresponds to A prime, B corresponds to B prime, C corresponds to C prime, and D corresponds to D prime. The reflections this time for the pre-image and the image, same as before, the pink is the image and the before the pre-image is in blue. The same A, B, C, and D correspond to A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. And uh, this time it's flipped over the x-axis. Again, the axes are labeled x and y, and they're in blue. Um, so the quadrilateral ABCD has been flipped or reflected over the x-axis. And you can see that they're the same distance. A is the same distance over the x-axis away from each other. Okay. Now we have um, what looks like the letter L in red with uh, some big bold red points. And this time it's being flipped over the y-axis and I have the points indicated by their coordinates, their x and y coordinates. So the letter L is being marked by the points A, B, and C on the pre-image on your left, and the points are A, which is the point negative 12, 6, and B, which is negative 7, 6, C, negative 12, and 16. Once it's been reflected or flipped, over the y-axis, then it becomes the image of a prime, b prime, and c prime. a now has become 12, 6, b has become 7, 6, 
and I'm sorry, B prime has become 7, 6, and C prime has become 12, 16. So it has been reflected around the y axis, and the image has changed. Notice the coordinates. What has changed between C and C prime, B and B prime, A and A prime? When it is transferred, when it is reflected around the y axis, what changed? Okay. Similarly, we can reflect it around the x axis. So the same letter L that has the same coordinates as before for A, B, and C for the pre image, we are going to reflect it over the x axis to become A prime, B prime, and C prime. And we have flipped it. So now A prime is negative 12, 6 negative 6, and B prime is negative 7, negative 6, and C prime is negative 12, negative 16. So when we flip it over the x-axis, what happens? Notice the coordinates between the pre-image and the image when you flip it over the x-axis. What changes? Now we have reflections on the x and y axis. So let's look at this one that isn't given to us. We have the letter T in red and it's marked with an ABC and it is to be reflected about the y axis to become T prime or basically A prime, B prime, and C prime. What are the coordinates for the image or in other words the after? Okay, so I'm going to step you through this. The first thing that you need to do is to find the coordinates for the original one, the pre-image for T, the points A, B, and C. So what are the coordinates for the pre-image? So you can see I wrote them on there. They are negative 16 and 16 for A. For a point B, they are negative 8 and 16. For C, it is the point negative 12 and 7. Okay, now I'm going to reflect it. Okay, I have reflected it over the y-axis. And now I will write out the coordinates for A prime, B prime, and C prime. So you can see that A prime has now become 16, 16. B prime is the point 8, 16. And C prime is the point 12, 7. Okay, so that's how you would find the answers for that. Similarly, um, we have something that you may not be too familiar with. So you might want to pay particular attention to this one. This one is asking you to reflect um, a pre-image around a line, not the x-axis or the y-axis, but a different line. So the line is called y equals 2, and I designated it in pink so you can see. The line y equals 2 is actually parallel to the x-axis, but it actually runs through the point y the point of y2, the right there where it crosses y equals 2. Okay, so you can maybe learn about that particular line there. y equals 2 is that pink line that is crossing the y-axis at 2. Okay, so we have the same L here, the ABCL, and its uh, points are given. And now I have reflected it over not the x-axis, not the y-axis, but over and it's been reflected about this y equals 2 line, the pink line. Okay, so you can see that the new image, the image, A prime, B prime, and C prime, um, the coordinates obviously have changed so that they are as given. So that A was negative 12, 6, and now it's negative 12, negative 2. The B became B prime. It went from a negative 7, 6 to a negative 7, 2. C became C prime. It was negative 12, 16. Now it's negative 12, negative 12. Do you see a pattern here? Do you notice what has changed? You might need to look at this. Pause this and look at it. See if you can figure out what's going on. What's the pattern? What has changed? You might have to pause here. Here's another one, a very similar example, except instead of the line of reflection being 
y equals 2, we now have a vertical line known as x equals 3. It's passing through the x-axis at the point 3. So it's actually parallel to the y-axis. So what's happening is that this letter that looks like kind of like a red T is actually getting reflected not on the X or Y axis, but is getting reflected around this pink line that's known as X equals 3. So this letter T, the pre-image ABC, is being reflected about the line X equals 3, the pink line. And again, it's being designated by ABC, and the points are given. The image, the after, is given as A, B, A prime, B prime, C prime, and its points are given as well. So let's go through this. A was negative 16, 16, and now A prime is 19, 16. B, which was negative 8, 16, has now become B prime, which is 11, 16. And C, which was negative 12, 7, has now become C prime, which is 15, 7. It looks like the Y part has not changed at all. But what's the pattern that's happening to the X piece here? When it's being rotated, I mean, I'm sorry, when it's being reflected about the line x equals 3. So what changes here? Again, you might need to pause it to find out, to think about what's happening here, what's, what's going on. Okay. Sometimes you might get um, something that's hanging half over. So this particular polygon, in this case it's a pentagon, five-sided figure, we've marked it pre-image A, B, C, D, and E. It's going to be reflected about that same line that was used on the last slide, X equals 3. So it's going to become another polygon pentagon, um, A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, and E prime. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, so it will become this one. Uh, the one in green. The one in green is the image, the after. And so you can see what happens when it just gets flipped around it that the half that was on the right becomes the portion on the left and vice versa. Switch it around. So it got flipped around just that pink line there. And so if you were to ask to find the coordinates you could just look them up on the line there. But that's what would happen if something gets flipped around um, the line where it's kind of half hanging over. Half of it goes on one side, the other half flips to the other side. Okay, and I think that's the end of this particular slide lesson, and I know it was just a straightforward lesson, and it was kind of tough, and a lot of new material, and you might have to watch it a couple times or back it up on certain sections to make sure you have it all. Uh, and we'll see you in class maybe on Monday or Tuesday or whenever school resumes. Bye!